socks up. <laughs> Things are looking up.
we win again. This should be very useful indeed. It is the great mage's account of how he imprisoned the witch in the grimoire. Let's see now. The magic of the sorceress was passing strong. Even with all my energies, I could neither conquer nor constrain her. And so I did conspire with a great enchanted beast that by its incorporation of a piece of the witch's magic, I might by my small strength subdue her. Thereupon was the witch imprisoned in a book and laid to rest in the Royal Library of Sniffelheim. As for the beast, it haunts the nearby Hexwood to this day. I see. So, even the greatest mage of the Age of Heroes needed the help of a magical creature to seal the witch away. A great enchanted beast? Well, you certainly met one of those in the Hexwood. That thing that was supposed to be the witch's pet. Oh? Tell me, what did this creature look like? Hmm. A rounded white body with a golden mane. Two pointed tusks jutting from an enormous jaw. Uh, how can you have been so foolish? The monster you defeated was the very same one that kept a part of the witch's power sealed away. Queen Frizabelle told us it was on the witch's side. She said it guarded her against intruders. Is this true? But why would Her Majesty say such a thing? Hold on. I'm sure I've seen that symbol somewhere before. Wasn't it on the front of the book the Queen was reading when we first met her? This? Why, this is the Sorcerer's Seal. It is a ward placed on all the forbidden books of the Great Library. Which means that book the Queen was reading was forbidden. Wait, what if it was the book the Witch was sealed away in? What if... Oh no! We need to go back to Sniffelheim and talk to the Queen. I've got a feeling there's some funny business afoot.
so glad you're safe. I was so awfully worried about you. I didn't sleep a wink. <laughs> you can drop the act now, your majesty. What? you got when I hit you with my fireball! You're not the queen at all! You're the witch! Oh, dearie me. It seems my secret's out. It was Crystalinda all along. Ah. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking care of that pesky power plunderer for me. Now I'm bursting with energy again, just like old times. And I believe we have some unfinished business. The heroic Sir Hendrik may have escaped my icy embrace, but you won't get away so easily. I I know the spell to seal her away again, but it won't work while she's at full strength. If you can weaken her, I'll see what I can do. Step into my icy embrace. Okay. Do you want to be a snowman? Hold 
Elderbringer! I was tough. <sighs> now, Snorri, use the ceiling spell. Okay. Here goes. <clears throat> Pella, Mella, Fell and Feller. Fabula Ferocious. No, stop it. Please, anything but that. Helter, skelter, bind and belter. Anima atrocious. Liba, claustra, cabalistic, hex. Hmm, I wonder how this word is pronounced. Snorri, what kind of scholar are you? Pull yourself together. Ah, yes, I remember now. Lieber Claustra Kabbalistic Hexbialidosus! No! No, please forgive me! I'll do anything! I'll change my ways, I promise! Look! The ice! It's melting! Your Majesty, is it really you? Hmm? Oh yes, I remember now. The witch trapped me in that book and pretended to be me, didn't she? Thank goodness. For a moment there, I was worried the ordeal might have muddled your memory. Fear not, Your Majesty, the witch is sealed away once more. <laughs> Your Majesty, we've been searching for you everywhere. Please, you must come back to the castle. The Chancellor is beside himself with worry. Hmm. Thank 
thank you so much for saving my kingdom. I must see to it that you are justly rewarded. You need the blue orb, don't you? I heard you talking about it from inside the book. Come and see me at the castle. I will gladly give it to you. As for the grimoire, Snorri, why not give it to me? Hold on a minute, Your Majesty. I don't think you understand just how dangerous that book is. You should let us take care of it. Oh, um, yes, of course. Yes! Another orb to add to the collection. Come on, let's go to the castle and get our reward. Here, I'll let you keep hold of this. Something. Hmm? No, I didn't say anything at all. Why? Did you hear something? I thought so, but... Well, never mind. It must have just been my imagination. Come on, let's go.
if I'm a fool, then what are you? What's the matter with you, Veronica? I didn't say anything. Yes, you did. Hmm, something funny's going on around here. Let's get in and see the Queen before anything else strange happens. Excellent! You came. Let me present to you the blue orb of Sniffelheim. If you will just come a little closer. Stop! Huh? Huh? Please, stop! <gasps> it's the book! The voice is coming from the book! to listen to me. I am the real Frisabel. The woman in front of you is the witch. What? Ridiculous. She's the witch, not me. Don't believe her lies. Hmm. Trick us once, shame on you. Trick us twice, shame on us. You might not like being trapped in there again, but you'll just have to get used to it. No, you're wrong. The spell didn't work because Snorri paused in the middle of it. You have to believe me. She's lying. The wicked witch is trying to trick you again. You have to believe me. Everybody calm down. I have been Her Majesty's tutor for ten years. If anyone can tell the real queen from the imposter, it is me. I will ask one question to both of you. Whoever answers it correctly is the real Queen Frisabel. Here is the question. What is the true treasure of Sniffelheim? The real Frisabel would remember her father's teachings well. <laughs> That's easy. The true treasure of Sniffelheim is clearly the blue ore. What else could it be but something so valuable? Hmm, the orb, you say? Very well. Now then, what is your answer? The true treasure of Sniffelheim is its people. Though the bleakest blizzards assail them, Ever do they warm these frigid climes with their ardent hearts. Precisely! The very words the royal family have passed down through the generations. The real Queen Frisabel is the one in the book! No! She's a liar, you fools! You imbeciles! Can't you see? Curse you! Oh, yes. Very queenly. Fine. You caught me out again. I surrender. I surrender. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 I wait all that time to get my powers back, and you make me waste every last drop on escaping that wretched book again. My magic is spent. My life is yours. Boil me in a cauldron, burn me at the stake. Just get it over with. Men, take her to the dungeon. Wait. 
Your Majesty, what are you doing? Queen Frisabel, please step away from her. She says she has lost her powers, but how can we know for sure? She is a witch! It is in her nature to lie! Oh. Everyone, listen to me! It is true that Kristalinda did something unforgivable when she froze this city. But we spoke from time to time when she held me captive. She listened to me. She even helped me to understand what it is to be queen. Hers is not a bad heart. And the time I spent in the book, it gave me the chance to think. To ready myself to truly rule at last. Please, I believe her when she says her powers are spent. She is not a threat to us any longer. We must let her live. Hmm, she seems convinced, Snorri. Why not give Crystalinda one last chance? Very well. You are the ruler of this kingdom, Your Majesty. If that is your decision, we will gladly follow it. Must you be so nicey, nicey, Frisabel? You're making me look bad. Crystalinda, there's something I still don't understand. Why did you freeze Sniffleheim in the first place? Oh, that was a favor for a friend. The splendid specimen who released me from the grimoire. As you know, I was trapped in that dusty, Pusty library for a horribly long time. Oh, it was so, so boring. Then, three months ago, he appeared. He took down my book from the shelf and spoke to me. I will release you from your prison, but you must do something for me in return. For a beautiful boy like you? Anything. Free me and I am yours forevermore. What is your desire, my pretty? You must freeze Sniffleheim. When you do, a great hero will be sent to save the city. One who wears the same pendant as I. His name is Hendrik. And when he arrives, I would like you to kill him. So I did as he asked. And when the great hero arrived, I decided to have him run a little errand for me before I disposed of him. To slay a mighty beast that just happened to have stolen my powers. And, well, the rest you know. The same pendant as Sir Henry, eh? And what was this handsome young fellow's name, might I ask? His name? Oh, I haven't a clue. He disappeared after he freed me, and I haven't seen him since. It's a shame. He was such a pretty little thing. Thank you once again for all you have done for me and my kingdom. The orb is yours to do with as you see fit. But your majesty, isn't the orb one of your kingdom's most precious treasures? Are you sure you don't mind us taking it? Of course. As my father always said, the true treasure of this kingdom is its people. And if not for you, they may well have been frozen forever. Well, if you insist, best of luck with all your royal duties. And try not to let the pressure get to you, okay? <laughs> oh, 
don't worry about that, little girl. Free Sabel will be just fine. I plan to take very good care of her.